hello friends today in this tutorial we will be building this uh, awesome looking face detector application in javascript with tensorflow api called as faceapi.js so in this example you can, as you can see here this this application is detecting my face here and also in the sidebar you can see that it is uh, telling me that uh, whether i'm happy or neutral you can see that these percentages are there if i just make a happy face it will tell me that i am happy if i just uh, show a neutral face then it will tell me that i am neutral if i make make a sad face then it will also tell me that i am sad so you will just you can just try out with this application that we will be building in this tutorial so this will be a very awesome application so the whole source code is there in the video description i have given the github repository where you can just uh, download the source code let me just show you the library that we will be using for this uh, application this is face api.js basically it is kind of a javascript wrapper for tensorflow as you know that Ten tensorflow is a, a big player in artificial intelligence it is a great library for building uh, face detector applications so basically this face api.js is just a javascript wrapper for building it in the browser so i have also given the link in the description of this li library you can just read the documentation it is great all the documentation is given here so the methods how much it can detect faces all that stuff so check out this library and let's get started with building this application so the very first thing that you need to do here guys that uh, just create a directory here and create two files index.html and script.js so inside this i will delete all the code and start from scratch and also i will be deleting all the code in script.js apart from that uh, the link is there in the video description just download this face api min.js file so this is a library that we are using here so just go to this repository uh, face api.js and download the zip file and here you will get your face api min.js inside your source directory or you can just get it inside dist here distribution so here you can see that face api.js so just uh, uh, download it onto your computer and include it into your directory and also there is a models also there models folder i have given the link in the description so these models contains all the methods that are required in order to detect faces expressions of the person as well so just include this and now we will start building the project so inside your index.html write a very basic html document inside the head we will give the title that is face detector in javascript and uh, in the body guys i will be having a video tag with the help of the which we can just display our webcam so video tag so inside this video tag we will be first of all be giving the id to it that is video and i will be giving a width of let's suppose 900 and a height of uh, let's suppose 460 so you can just give any width and height of your choice and also i will be making this video autoplay and mute it so i will be muting the sound of the webcam so with the help of these two attributes you can achieve the this effect so this is our index.html guys so now moving on to the script.js we just need to include these two files right here at the top so first of all we will be including the library which is uh, that is face api main.js so include this and secondly we will be including our script.js so include these two files and we have our script.js so and also uh, after the head you can just give some styles here after the title you can just have a style tag so style tag so inside this i will just target my webcam that is video element so inside this i will be targeting it by the body so inside body you just need to remove the margin and the paddings first of all margin and padding to zero and also just give a width of 100 uh, view height so vw and height to also 100 vh so viewport height and i will be changing the display property to flex to make it in the center and justify cent content to center and align items to also 
align content sorry so align items to also center so these are the styles guys so this will be just be aligning the webcam in the center position and now we will be making our script.js file so in the very first line we just need to target the video element so const video and we will be getting by get element by id so we have provided a id of video so this will store the reference of the webcam and now we just need to execute a simple function which will start the webcam so this will be start video inside this function we will initialize our web webcam so in, in order to initialize webcam in javascript we will make use of this class navigator get user media so this is a function inside this function first argument it expects is the video so this is an empty object put a comma and the next argument is it expects is uh, right here after this put a comma here and the next argument is stream so this is the arrow function guys arrow function so we just need to set the stream to video dot source i think i have made a mistake here this needs to be inside uh, curly bracket so just make uh, parentheses here and after that you just have a set of curly brackets inside this you will pass video here colon and a set of curly brackets and put a comma here and then we will be having our stream this will be arrow function and we just need to initialize it to video source object video dot source object is equal to stream that's it and now you just need to put a uh, comma here if any kind of error take place we just need to console log it so this will be console error and we will pass the error that's it so now we just need to execute this function so i will just call this function start video so this will start our webcam so in order to start it now we right click and go to our index.html and i will be opening with live server so just it will open this in the live server so this is a visual studio extension so if i press go live here you will see that i will i will just open this in chrome here so i will be going copy pasting the address here so you will see that guide it is allowing it is asking for the permission that it can use your camera if i allow it you will see that my camera will be rendered on the screen so you will see that guys my webcam is successfully rendering on the screen now we just need to detect faces expressions and print it out on the screen so now let's do this also now in the script.js we need to so now guys we need to initialize all the models here so these the, this models folder contain all the methods that are required to detect faces and expressions so now we just need to initialize these models so right here at the top here we will be using promise.all and inside this we have an array here so inside this array we will be first of all be using face api dot nets dot tiny face detection so this is a first detector sorry not detector detector dot and load from uri and here you just need to pass the folder name which is uh, in this case it is uh, slash models put a semicolon so it is this is the first detector which will detect the face for us and now in the same manner we will be initializing some more ones face api dot net dot face landmark so this is all there in the documentation guys you can just check out landmark 68 n capital n net dot load from uri and here you will just pass your models sorry slash models sorry guys this is not semicolon this is just a comma here because this is an array here so again put a comma and now we have the third model which is face api dot nets dot face recognition face recognition net dot load from uri and here you just need to pass your models folder and we have the last one guys face api dot nets dot 
face expression so it will be detecting the expressions for us face expression net net dot load from uri and here you will pass your folder name which is slash model so inside this folder guys all these methods are present so we are just initializing them and now after that it returns a promise which is then and inside this we just need to call our function which will start video so now i will be deleting this here initially we will, we will not be initializing our webcam so when all these methods are loaded then only we will be initializing our webcam so now if i just reload this and uh, save this all this work and now if i refresh it now you will see that the application is working guys it is uh, successfully loading all these methods now in the script.js all these method methods and then it is loading the webcam now we just need to uh, use this methods in order to detect the expressions so right here uh, we have a event listener so when the event listener for the video element so when the webcam is loaded webcam is loaded so there is a event listener that we need to listen to which is uh, our video element dot add event listener so here we will pass the play listener so when the video is playing you can see that when the video actually plays so this is a event listener so we will be executing a callback function which will be a arrow function so in this manner so first of all we just need to create a canvas so for that we will be creating a new variable const canvas and we will be drawing the canvas by this method which is face api dot create canvas from media so this is a function guys which will be creating a canvas depending upon the webcam so we will pass the video element here in this function and now we just need to append this onto the body document dot append document dot body dot append and we will be passing this canvas element that's it and now after this we just need to have the display size of the canvas so i will be declaring a new variable display size and here i will be initializing width to video dot width and uh, the height to video dot height so in this we have just initialized our dimensions of the canvas so it will match the dimensions of the webcam and now we just need to call this function which is face api dot match dimensions dimensions and here we just need to pass our canvas first of all and secondly the display size that we have computed that's it so it will be matching the dimensions of the webcam and the canvas so now we just need to guys uh, call this set interval so basically set interval will be called after a certain amount of time so in this inside this we will be declaring a async function async function so this will be arrow function and it will be running after every uh, let's suppose 100 millisecond so you can see that after every uh, 100 millisecond it will run and now inside this we will want to detect faces inside our webcam so for that first of all we will be declaring a variable which will be detections detections and uh, we will be writing await here because this function is async so now we will be executing a function which is face api dot detect all faces and here inside this function we will pass the video element and comma and we will be calling this method which is uh, face api dot tiny face detector tiny face detector uh, this t is capital guys so just make sure t is capital tiny face detector options so this is a method guys so long method just make sure that you write the space same spelling mistake and uh, we will be binding another method which is uh, let me just make it on uh, next line we need to call other another function which is with face landmarks so this is with face landmarks 
this is the second function we are just concatenating these functions dot we have the another function with with face expressions so with face expressions so with face expressions so this is another function guys so these three functions are executing at the same time guys so you can see that i am just changed chained these methods here you can see that first we have the tiny face detector options so it will uh, detect the face for us in the webcam next is the face landmarks this is again a face detector and the third one is uh, just uh, it will detect the face expressions whether you are happy sad or angry depending upon that and now after that we just need to detect uh, uh, we need to declare another variable which will be re resize results so just declare this variable guys resize results and after that sorry resized uh, detections guys sorry sorry Re resize detections and is equal to face api dot resize results so this is a function you need to call and inside this you will pass your detections object comma the display size and now after this guys we just need to clear out the canvas by calling canvas dot get context so inside this get context method we will be passing our 2d con context and there is a method which is uh, clear rect we will clear the canvas by this method pass 0 comma 0 for the width and height and canvas dot width dot uh, comma canvas dot height so the first two parameters are x and y coordinates and the last two parameters are width and height so we will be clearing cl cl clearing out the canvas before displaying any kind of image on the uh, webcam and now we just need to f call a simple method face api dot draw dot uh, draw detection detections and now inside this we just need to pass our canvas element comma resized detections so pass this so this will draw the detections guys so and the next method is very simple face api dot draw dot draw face landmarks and inside this we again want to pass canvas and resize detections and last but not least we have face api dot uh, draw dot draw face expression so it will be drawing out the expressions whether we have good expressions or not same it will take the canvas and resize detections so this is a whole app guys so this is a script that we just need to write here now hopefully if i refresh the browser it will tell me that uh, how i am looking here it will detect my face and also tell me whether I am uh, whether I am happy, sad, or angry. Let me just uh, save this here. And now, if I just want to uh, refresh the browser, and now if I just refresh it, and uh, so you can see that, guys. It is telling me that uh, if I just make a happy face, you, it will tell me that I am happy here. You can see that in the right hand side. If I make an angry face, you can see that if I am neutral, I, it will tell me that I am neutral. So you can see that guys, it will also tell me the percentage also. So in this way, you can just uh, face detect your face here on the webcam. So thanks so much guys for watching this video. If you like this video then please hit the like button, subscribe the channel and also don't forget to subscribe the channel. And I will be seeing you in the next video. Until then thank you very much.